Assalamualaikum. Have a, have a good day everyone. So this video we in this video we will learn subtopic 4.3 translocation uh, in chapter 4 transport in plants. So let's start. What is translocation? Translocation is a process of transporting organic substances such as sucrose, amino acid and hormone in the flower from the leaf to other parts of the plant such as the roots and stem. So this is pesticide such as aphid except from the flower of the plant stem. If the sap, if the sap collected is analyzed, it is found to contain sucrose and amino acid. So the conclusion made translocation happen in the flower. What is the necessity of translocation in plant? Translocation help in transporting photosynthetic product from the leaf to other parts of the plant. Need them for the growth. Need the photosynthetic product for respiration such as root, fruit, tips of the shoot and developing flower. Transport excess as transport excess photosynthetic product to other parts of the plant such as rhizome, tuber and bark. Okay, next, we'll discuss about the pathway of transportation in plant. So, this is the picture how to explain the translocation pathway in plant. Firstly, sucrose is actively transported into the sieve tube. Okay, sucrose are transported actively to the sieve tube. Secondly, the transport of sucrose into the sieve tube through the companion cell from the leaf cell, we reduce the water potential in the sieve tube. This is this causes water to diffuse from xylem to the sieve tube via osmosis. Third, water diffusion increases the hydrostatic pressure or the water potential become high in the sieve tube. Okay, water potential become high in the sieve tube because the water diffuse into the sieve tube. Okay, for the increase in hydrostatic pressure or high water potential cause the flowing set of such as sucrose to be pushed along the sieve tube by the organ of the plant. So, flows are transported from the sieve tube to other organ. Next, the flowing set sucrose is transported from the sieve tube to other parts of uh, plants such as stem, root, shoot, fruit, and tuber by active transport. Next, the high water potential in the flow worm cause the water to diffuse in order to return into the xylem by osmosis. Okay, because the flow worm has high water potential, so the water will diffuse okay, from the flow worm into the xylem. And then, lastly, transpirational pool, transpiration pool water along the xylem again the direction of gravitational pull so this is how the translocation pathway in the plant with that thank you